When you check your dipstick and find no oil on it, the situation can feel alarming. However, not every instance of a dry dipstick signals a catastrophic engine failure. There are both benign and serious reasons this might happen, and understanding each possibility is key to responding correctly. This guide explores all potential causes, symptoms, and necessary actions to help you determine what's going on with your engine. One of the most common and harmless reasons for no oil showing on the dipstick is simply an incorrect checking technique. If the engine hasn't been off long enough, the oil may still be circulating and not settled in the oil pan. Similarly, if the vehicle is parked on an incline, the oil might pool away from the dipstick. Another factor can be not inserting the dipstick fully or wiping it improperly. If the engine is running fine and there are no warning lights or puddles under the vehicle, rechecking the oil under the correct conditions. Level ground, engine off for 5 to 10 minutes, and clean, fully inserted dipstick often resolves the issue. Another moderate but non-critical reason could be that the oil level is just below the minimum mark on the dipstick rather than entirely gone. This can make it seem like there's no oil, even though some is still present. This usually happens when the oil change interval is stretched too far or if there's minor oil loss over time through slow leaks or natural consumption. Symptoms might include a dry-looking dipstick, a slightly louder engine than usual but no dashboard warnings. The solution is to add oil slowly, checking the level after each addition, and then monitoring consumption and leak signs over the next week. Stepping into more concerning territory, oil burn-off or excessive consumption can be a culprit, especially in older or high-mileage engines. When internal components like valve seals or piston rings wear down, oil can enter the combustion chamber and burn off. This is often accompanied by blue smoke from the exhaust, particularly during startup or acceleration, and possibly a smell of burning oil. Extended highway driving or turbo use can exacerbate this issue. Topping off the oil and closely monitoring the level every few hundred miles can help track the severity. Persistent issues should be followed by a compression or leak down test to assess internal wear. External oil leaks are also a frequent cause of disappearing oil. These may occur through worn gaskets, a loose or cracked oil filter, or damage to the oil pan or drain plug. Visual signs include oil stains or puddles under the car and the smell of burning oil as it drips onto hot engine components. The engine might begin to sound slightly noisier as oil levels fall. In these cases, a careful visual inspection around common leak points, possibly using UV dye or talcum powder, can help identify the source. Once found, repairing the leak and topping up the oil is necessary. At the critical end of the spectrum are conditions that demand immediate attention. One is severe internal oil consumption or failure, which can stem from a blown head gasket, broken piston rings, or a failing turbocharger. These problems may show no external leaks, but oil rapidly disappears. The engine might knock or tick, smoke may come from the exhaust, and overheating could occur. Driving in this state can cause catastrophic engine damage, so the vehicle should be turned off and towed to a repair shop for proper diagnostics. Another urgent issue is oil pump failure or a problem with the pickup tube in the oil pan. If the oil pump fails or the pickup tube is clogged with sludge, oil will not circulate even if it's present in the pan. Warning signs include the oil pressure light coming on, metallic ticking or knocking noises, and rapid overheating. This situation is extremely serious. The engine should be shut off immediately and a mechanical oil pressure test should be performed. If pressure is low or zero, the oil pan must be removed to inspect the pickup tube and oil pump. Finally, if the oil pan is completely empty, due to a massive leak like a blown out drain plug, cracked pan, or exploded oil filter, oil can disappear almost instantly. In this case, you might notice a large puddle of oil under the car, a flashing oil pressure warning, and loud knocking as the engine runs dry. Do not start or run the engine in this state. If oil is added and the vehicle is started without resolving the underlying leak, severe damage can occur. It's best to tow the vehicle to a service center and determine the source of the loss before proceeding. To diagnose the issue yourself, start by rechecking the dipstick under proper conditions. If oil is still absent, look under the car and around the engine for signs of a leak. Listen carefully to the engine while it's running. 
Any knocking or ticking indicates a serious problem and means you should turn the engine off immediately. Check the dashboard for warning lights. If you must add oil, do so gradually to avoid overfilling and recheck levels frequently. If the oil level continues to disappear after topping up, suspect a leak or internal consumption. Scanning for engine fault codes using an OBD2 scanner can also help rule out deeper issues. Certain signs mean you should stop driving right away. These include the oil pressure warning light coming on, loud ticking or knocking sounds from the engine, rapid overheating, or visible oil puddles. Continuing to drive in these conditions can destroy the engine within minutes. If you're unsure it's safest to add enough oil to protect the engine briefly and then tow it for professional inspection. To avoid this situation in the future, check your oil every two to four weeks, especially on older or high mileage vehicles. Stick to manufacturer recommended oil change intervals. Use high quality oil and filters and don't skip replacing the PCV valve, which helps control internal oil consumption. Early detection of leaks and oil consumption trends can prevent expensive repairs down the road. High mileage oils can also help reduce consumption in aging engines.